I'm Jess, and this week we'll be discussing the week's hottest topics, winding it way back to 1987, and looking ahead to next week's payday. Here's the TLDR. The Overwatch League completed the first stage of the regular season last week. London Spitfire, who started the day as the number three seed, defeated the number one seeded New York Excelsior in a thrilling reverse sweep. Overwatch League has amassed some pretty impressive viewership stats so far, with just under three and a half million viewers and over 73 and a half million total hours watched. Stage two kicks off on the 22nd and teams have already begun signing new players to their rosters. Biggest announcement came from the Shanghai Dragons, who have signed four new players, including the league's first female player. Known for playing tank roles, 19-year-old Kim Gaguri Sayon was also the first female player in the Korean Apex League. Over the weekend, a new trailer was dropped for the long-awaited Kingdom Hearts 3 at the official Disney Fan Club Expo D23. The trailer revealed more information on the new world, as well as characters coming to the game, including Monsters Inc. with Sully, Boo and Mike Wazowski, and Tangled with Rapunzel. We also caught a glimpse of Ariel from The Little Mermaid and the return of the masked boy from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Square Enix also released the theme song titled Don't Think Twice by returning artist Hikaru Yutada. The song is really beautiful and links to both the trailer and the song can be found in the description below. A Spyro the Dragon Trilogy remaster is reportedly in the works. The return of the Little Purple Dragon will apparently feature new assets, lighting, animations and cinematics, much like Crash Bandicoot's Insane Trilogy. It's also rumoured that a new soundtrack will be included too. Launching initially for PlayStation 4 as a timed exclusive, the remaster is said to feature PS4 Pro support before being ported to other platforms after one year. Will Spyro's return be as successful as Vicarious Vision's Crash comeback? Only time will tell, but we are super excited. This week, courtesy of the guys over at Ubisoft, we've managed to get our hands on the farther edition of forthcoming action-adventure title Far Cry 5. This edition features an intricately detailed Ubi Collectibles father figure, soundtrack, physical map, steelbook and more. Here's a TLDR exclusive first look. THQ Nordic's 90s flavoured PC platformer Rad Rogers is coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One this month. Playing as the video game addicted Rad himself, alongside his living games console, voiced by none other than Duke Nukem's John St. John himself, Rad Rogers will take you on a trip down memory lane filled with bolt blasters, phoenix cannons and plenty of easter eggs. Konami's survival action-adventure game Metal Gear Survive launches this month and is the first Metal Gear title since Hideo Kojima's departure in 2015. Played from a third-person perspective, Metal Gear Survive sees players battle through an alternate reality filled with zombie-like creatures. It's playable in both co-op multiplayer and solo alongside AI teammates and is available on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Payday 2 is bringing bank robbing smash and grab action to the Nintendo Switch, giving fans of the four player co op franchise the opportunity to indulge in some masked up criminal activity whenever, wherever. The game features new weapons and scenarios, a mask customization system, and full touchscreen menu support for the Nintendo Switch. For those of you who are yet to get your hands on a Nintendo Switch, pop into your local game store where you can trade in and get a brand new Switch from $149.99. This week in Wineback Weekly, we go way back to 1987 and the launch of Hideo Kojima's Metal Gear franchise. Metal Gear revolves around a Special Forces operative codenamed Solid Snake, a rookie member of the Special Forces group Foxhound, and this is his first mission. A solo venture into the fortified state of Outer Heaven to destroy Metal Gear, a walking tank capable of launching nuclear missiles from anywhere in the world. Kojima took over the project when it was intended to be an action game that featured modern military combat, but due to the limitations of the hardware at the time, Kojima felt the combat action was impeded, and so, inspired by The Great Escape, reversed the focus of gameplay from shooting down enemies to one that involved evading capture. 
Considered to be the originator of the stealth genre, the first game launched on the MSX2 in Japan on July 13th, 1987, with an English version released in Europe and North America on the NES just a few months later. The game was well received worldwide, with the MSX2 version ranked on MSX Magazine's top 20 best-selling MSX games in Japan for five months, and as of 2017, the Metal Gear franchise has sold over 51 million copies worldwide. Thanks for joining us for this week's TLDR. We'll be back next week at the same time in the same place.